Hi guys, I'm Emily. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about all the books that I read in the month of April. Man, I totally forgot it was April. I thought it was May, but I read seven books in the month of May. It was a pretty good reading month, but I think I could have read more. I just didn't have time and I wanted to read more. So hopefully in the month of May, I will be reading more books. If you did not see the video, I did choose my May TBR. It will be down in the description so you can know what books I am going to be reading in the month of May. Also, if you did not see the video of me choosing TBR prompts for the month of April, that video will also be down in the description. But let's get on with this video. The first book that I read in the month of April was A Game, <laughs> A Touch of Ruin by Scarlett St. Clair. I gave this book five stars so far. I have given this whole series five stars. I absolutely love Scarlett St. Clair's writing. It's just super easy and you could get into this world or this fantasy series super easy. Like everything is detailed, but not too, too detailed to where you're just like reading details over and over and over again. It is pretty much detailed enough to where you understand what is going on and what everyone looks like. I think I like the Hades and Persephone series because of the main characters. Like yes they do have their flaws but they are also trying to work on themselves but also working together to figure out life basically if you do not know what hades and persephone series is it's about hades who's the god of the underworld and persephone who is the god of demeter who is the goddess of spring and basically the fates wove hades and persephone's life together which means that they're supposed to be together and they're just trying to figure out why they were woven together and how they are going to work together and I think so far, this one has been one of my favorites in the Hades and Persephone series. But we'll see because I haven't finished the series. Yeah, so I gave this one five stars. The next book I read in the month of April was The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I did end up giving this book four stars just because, I don't know, I didn't like it as much as the first one in, in so many ways ways but I also liked it a lot just because I already know the characters and I know who everyone is and what everyone's style is and I got very involved and I really liked this because I read this pretty fast like Jennifer Lynn Barnes so far her books both the inheritance games and this one which is the second in the series have been a pretty fast read for me which I like because I sometimes just don't want to read romance or fantasy and this is like a little 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 taste of something different and so I liked it it was a pretty fast read for me and I loved this I guess puzzle because Avery was given a puzzle, not a puzzle, she was given an inheritance and she does not know why she got this inheritance and it's basically like she's trying to solve the puzzle of the guy who gave her the inheritance with the Hawthorne family. So this is like the second book and it was pretty good, pretty good in my opinion. The next book I read was Checkmate by Allie Hazelwood. To be honest, I thought this book was good, but was it one of my favorite Allie Hazelwood books? No. This is Allie Hazelwood's first YA book, I believe, and it is about Mallory, who used to play chess, but does not play chess, and then also Nolan, who is like a chess champion, and you just get to see them play chess, but not only chess. You kind of see their like story blossom of everything but I loved Mallory's point of view like Mallory was just like a character who had a past or has a past and you're just trying to figure out why she stopped playing chess because she used to be really good at it she still is good at it but she used to be really good at it and you just trying to figure out why she stopped playing chess and you're seeing how Nolan is helping her get back into loving chess and it was just super cute it was I, I think I liked Nolan as a main male character just because he was super sweet 
and supportive about everything she did and everything that she was doing. I could not decide between its rating though. I am between 4.5 and a 5 star. I'm kind of like, I keep bouncing back and forth like yes it was really really good but there were some things I did not like like their miscommunication was like during the third act conflict was a little a little annoying to me if I'm being honest but otherwise I really enjoyed it so I'm still between a 4.5 to 5 star rating the next book that I read in the month of April was Emily Wilde's Map of the Otherlands by Heather Fawcett. I gave this book three stars. I think I gave the first book three stars as well. I don't know if I really like Emily Wilde's, like the, the series about Emily Wilde's. I don't know. I do like the cover of this one though. It's pretty cute. But Emily Wilde's is basically a lady who is very interested in the Fae world. And you just get to see her learn about the Fae and just live in a world where there are fays. Also, Bam Bambleby, is that how you say it? Bambleby is a guy who is fay, and she finds out that he is fay, and they are trying to get him to his realm. And you just see them trying to get there and working to get there while stumbling and figuring things out. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty fun. This is the second book in the series and I gave it a three stars. I think this was the lowest book I rated this month because the month of April has been a pretty good reading month. I've been giving a lot of books pretty good ratings. The next book I read was Bride by Ali Hazelwood. I gave this book five stars. I absolutely love this book. So this is Ali Hazelwood's first fantasy book and I am hoping she comes out with a part two to this book just because we ended off on a cliffhanger in this book and I want to read it so much. The main female character, amazing. The main male character, amazing. If you did not see, I do have a reading... no I don't. Do I? I don't know. If I do have a reading vlog, it'll be down in the description of this book but where I talk about more about it but I absolutely loved this book absolutely the next book i read in the month of april was none other than throne of glass by sarah j mass one of my goals this year was to read the throne, the throne of glass series and the way i decided to read it was throne of glass and then i'm gonna read the assassin's blade after the third book because that's what sarah j mass says she she would prefer people read it so i think that's how i'm gonna read it but I gave this book four and a half stars. It was an amazing book. It's just some parts felt like they were dragged on. And I don't know. I loved it though. I loved everything about it. So basically this is about an assassin who is hired, not hired, but taken out of slavery and into this thing that if she wins this battle between all the other people's like I guess prisoners or killers then she gets to be like the king's second hand man or like the king's assassin and she would have to work four years for him until she could get her freedom you just follow along as she goes through these battles and just continues on to win this thing and trying to win even though she has been in slavery so she's weak she's you know struggling with a lot of things but it's super cute and I think I like the Akatar series more. That's that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. For now, I like the Akatar series more. The next book I read was A Game of Retribution by Scholar St. Clair. This is a part of this Hades and Persephone series. So basically, you could read the Hades and Persephone series on its own. And you could read the Hades saga on its own. Or you could read... The Perse Hades and Persephone series with the Hades saga and that is what I'm doing. I am reading both series together. If you want, just look up the Hades and Persephone series and Hades saga, the reading order, and you will get it. And this is the book that is next in my reading order. I think I like the Hades and Persephone saga more. I keep saying that if you have watched any of my other videos. I always say that I like Hades saga more just because it is 
a lot more interesting but i also like hades character so that could be a reason why i love hades the hades saga more so i gave the book five stars absolutely loved it um yeah those were all the books that i read in the month of april i wanted to say thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i can't wait to see you in the next one